So we've got Jenny and Steve, friends, over for the weekend. And Steve's turning the boat, ready to come in the lock and get some expert guidance from Fran. So the lock is set. And I'll back on our way out of Froggle to go through the tunnel again. Job. Like a pro. Reverse. <laughs> At the lock, filling up with water. It's an odd place to have a water tap, I must admit. So we're uh, lowering the boat as much as we can to get through the tunnel. This is the big bit. Yeah. Small lumps at the end. The big bit? Yeah. Look at those people behind you, Richard. Look at the crowd. Help! Do you? <laughs> So, our guest Jenny is driving the boat. I'm just up here to give her a little guiding hand. The boys offered to go and sit at the front, but it would appear that they've got beers in their hand towards you. I know, how did that happen? They said, do you want to drive? So we've been fobbed off. We've been offered the, offered the chance to drive the boat, the two of us, and they're sitting up there with beer. been driving but he's been all over the place with it so we're determined not to touch the side. <laughs> what is it about pubs and steam trains and canals? There's our boat over there. There's Constanza.
apparently up here is 210 steps but uh, at 70 something steps apparently we'll get a phone signal which we haven't had for the last day or two so catch up on the news we quite like having uh, no signal to be honest it's quite nice but we've got no um, phone no internet nothing at all and we do begin to think with the hot with the cottage letting we do sort of need to keep in touch with emails and messages and also you were going to put a video up last night weren't yeah, you couldn't do it, so and we couldn't do it wait. so it's such a beautiful place that so we would have stayed maybe two or three days here but we're going to have to move on so we can get some internet we don't really want to spend a night in the pub do we just to do it no so anyway what well, we can do <laughs> but upward and onward Nearly there. Dogs are just taking it in their stride. So we've uh, been down to Endon, we've had to turn around yet again so we can get a pump out. Really interesting because a week ago the pump out machine wasn't working, but uh, good job we didn't try and do it last night when we turned up because as we poked our heads above the parapet this morning the man was there to fix it so it's taken them a week to come and fix the pump out which is the only one on this canal since the junction way back at uh, Etruria and Stoke-on-Trent so we've managed to get our pump out sorted and now we've uh, heading back to the leak arm this is the sixth time we've done this little bit of canal now isn't <laughs> Not it? <been> down. <laughs> But the um, guy that fixed the pump out machine said that they only got the notification yesterday because they usually respond within 24 hours. It's a contractor that comes out. So despite the fact that I did say to CRT last week there is nowhere else to go along here, it took them a week to notice, notify the uh, contractors. contractors. Yeah. So it's not great, is it? Nah, well, we made it. We're, we're all right. We're in no rush. We've got nowhere to be. And. Um, it's another rotten day in paradise, as you can see. And we're on our way to Leek. Ahead of us is the frog alarm that we came through yesterday. We were hoping that we'd be able to show you a perfect manoeuvre around this very tight hairpin bend, really. But as we had to go and um, visit the facilities, let's say, we didn't do that, so we've got a nice easy turn now for Rich. No problems. And the little boat in front of us is a charity boat for, I think, disabled children or um, children with special needs. We've seen them going up and down quite a lot with little crowds of kids having the time of their life on board. This Colden Canal is a canal that just keeps giving. It's beautiful beyond belief. Just look where we're moored up. 
there's the frog alarm down below which we'll be going over shortly after we've had a bite to eat we've been on the go all morning getting the pump out sorted out etc filling the tank up with water I haven't had breakfast yet and it's now sort of midday so I'm gonna have a late brunch and enjoy this spot for a while before we cruise up to Leek this afternoon fantastic We've met so many people these last few days who said how much they enjoy the channel, how much they look forward to our next episode and uh, lots of them have said well they're hoping to do this sort of thing in the future but uh, I hope we don't paint too rosy a picture of it all, I hope we tell it warts and all uh, because it isn't always idyllic like this, it can be cold and dreary and wet and miserable but at the end of the day, if you're the hardy types and you don't mind a bit of cold and a bit of wet, it's just a fantastic way of life. It really is. And to go at such a slow space and just soak in what's around you is just unbelievable. We just I find it really difficult to put into words how I feel <laughs> about what we're doing. And uh, that person on the back of the boat behind me makes it even more special. I just don't know how to convey the feelings he's going all going off on one there he's getting all emotional <laughs> better stop and walk the dogs <laughs> oh, this is leak tunnel only 130 yards but uh, nothing like the nightmare of frog all tunnel this we can get through without taking stuff off the roof to wind that winding hole just up there and it tells you how far it is and I, as you can see there's no spaces for us to moor up and we can't go ahead any further because there's nowhere for us to turn with our size boat so good old Fran is reversing back to just beyond the bend where we can moor up and she's doing a right good job of it Birds managed to get us in. 
reverse round a corner without hitting any boats. How was that, Fran? Not only that, there was an audience of a load of people watching me. But, um, yeah, I'm told I did okay, so that's good enough. Not just an audience, but two subscribers on Morning Mist <laughs> boat just up there who we bumped into in Oxford, didn't we, last summer? So uh, it's nice to see them again. But uh, well done, hun. It's good, it's fine. I don't think I could have done that because I, I get too much in a flummox, don't I? And you stay really cool, really slow, just get on with yeah, it. Yeah, I've got a little bit more patience when it comes to that. I don't rush and just let the boat turn until it's in the right direction, then go back. It was okay.